Hey everybody, it's Pax. Welcome back. This is the ne next video in the uh, Against the Storm series that I'm going to be doing here. Uh, I say series. It's probably going to be like two or three more videos just for fun uh, while I'm waiting for the Scarlet Keys to come out. Um, I've been a little burnt out on Arkham the past little bit. I've been making it tough to make videos. Um, and so I thought I'd just do this to kind of get me ready. I've got my streaming set up ready so we can play Scarlet Keys next Friday, hopefully when it comes out. But for now, we're about to start Mammonsburg with our human settlers, bringing some extra wood on the Viceroy difficulty, and we'll get to see what this whole archaeologist thing is about in these varied mysteries. So let's embark. So the first thing that's different about this is that we have a bunch of negative modifiers from the storm. So, during uh, Drizzle... Resource nodes depleted during the drizzle spawn fertile soil. So when I am finishing things during drizzle, I will be getting fertile soil from them. We always get the looming darkness, which is minus resolve during the storm. But I also have this overheating. Machinery tends to overheat in this climate. Five spark dew is taken from you with every storm. If you can't pay, the global production speed will be reduced by 15%. But this is only active once my hostility is above two. So, I need to be able to produce Spark 2. Spark 2 before my hostility rises above 2, or I need to keep it below 2. Uh, villagers, this is the Hailstorm. Villagers with this effect have a 5% chance of perishing every 15 seconds. Uh, death by a thousand Hailstorms. There's no safe way to be safe without a roof over your head, so I need to have housing for all my people, otherwise they can die. The Piercing Winds, fuel efficiency is lowered by 200% if our hostility rises above 3. And the Cold Snap, uh, a sudden drop in temperature can cause extreme hunger. Villagers with this effect have a 50% chance of consuming double the amount of food during a break. So if we're above three hostility, uh, our people become gluttonous. And in order to prevent that from happening, we can have uh, complex food needs met. Okay, so that's the summary of the effects that we've got. Like I said, I have a bunch of humans. There are 15 resolve. I have 10 of them. Nine of them are free. One of them is working here, lowering the Queen's Impatience rating. And you'll see the uh, reputation meter is a lot more spread out. We start with the archaeologist's office, which uh, requires a bunch of planks and bricks and uh, fabric to get going. I know about these, so I don't need to read those yet. I started with some eggs, some vegetables, some parts, some wildfire essence, which allows me to build more hearths. Uh, some plant fiber, some coal, and some wood. The first thing I'm going to do is actually disable uh, coal from being burnt here, because that can be useful during the glade events. And I'm going to go ahead and get my woodcutter's camps built right here and right here. Mark out a nice area around me, so that I have plenty of room for housing and stuff. Always like to get that done right at the very start. And I'm going to set these so that they only cut down marked trees and they avoid opening glades. Because right now, I don't want to open glades. One thing that we didn't get into in the previous one was all the things that add to hostility. So every year your hostility goes up. All the glades you cut into put your hostility up. Your total amount of villagers put your hostility up. The total amount of villagers currently assigned as woodworkers puts your hostility up. Hearths lowers your hostility. And the Queen's impatience lowers your hostility. So the more patient she is, the less the forest is able to mess with you. But all the rest of that stuff makes it so that your hostility goes up. And that's what's going to make the storms that much worse for me. So let's take a look and see what our first blueprint is. We get to choose between the lumber mill, the brickyard, and the kiln. The lumber mill makes planks at an astonishingly effective rate. The brickyard... Uh, does bricks, pottery, and crystallized do all at a medium rate? This also does scrolls and packs of trade goods, but they're 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 kind of marginal at the very start here. And the kiln lets you uh, turn, uh, I believe, wood into coal uh, at a fairly good rate. Um, that's pretty tempting as well. Uh, we're going to hold off on this until we know what our orders are and stuff like that, but we know what's going on there. We're also going to get these roads built. I love setting up these first couple like this, just so that our people can get around a little easier. This first area, have room for housing and stuff like that. Also, uh, you know what? We're just going to get these built for now. They just cost parts, and we'll just get those built. We're going to be a little on the back foot on this because I don't have a ton of stuff unlocked yet. Uh, you do have permanent unlocks in this game. And so 
what that means is um, eventually you don't start with just shelters. You'll have the human housing and the lizard housing and stuff. Uh, but I don't have that right now. So let's get the woodcutters going on. They're just humans. Uh, and look, we've already got enough woodcutters in there to get one hostility. And the hostility automatically lowers our resolve. We've already got minus two. For every hostility point, we get minus two resolve. So we're already dealing with that a little bit. There we go. We're almost up to two already, right? So even in the first storm, we've got to be careful about this hailstorm and, uh, and overheating. So we're going to need to get those rain collectors up pretty quick. Um, because the penalty for that, that minus 15% global production speed, that is going to absolutely wreck us. So what do we get when we chop down these trees? We get Copper Vein. Let's pause it really quickly. Uh, it's worth uh, one wood, a 60% chance of another wood, 10% chance of, I believe that's Copper Ore, 5% chance of, I want to say, Pigment, and then a 5% chance of... Uh, plant fiber, but I can't check that, can I? No, I can't. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got metallurgic proficiency. All recipes that use metal or ore will be produced 33% quicker. I'm going to have a bunch of copper for free. Uh, and that, so that one's a little tempting. And then this settlement specializes in incense production. Gain plus one to human resolve for every 70 incense produced. So that's incense. That is not what I was just looking at, was it? No, those are pigments, but pigments are how you make incense. Um, but I think we're going to go with the metallurgic proficiency. I feel like that is the one that seemed, that jumps out as me of being a little more useful. We're going to do this one a little bit slower. We're only going to go up to times two. Because I am a little nervous about going too fast. Let's get that crew work, uh, workshop there. Because we want to get these rain collectors up early. Now we've got our orders. We get to pick them one at a time. We're going to get this many. They're going to unlock every however many minutes. We're going to get three this day, two this day, one two this day, one this day, and one this day. And then we're going to be out of orders. And that's going to give us however much uh, reputation it does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, nine. It's nine. And we need like 14. So we need to get reputation through resolve as well. Keep humans above 22 resolve for 30 seconds. That'll get us... A bunch of grain, some more humans, some parts. Building some packs of building materials will get us reinforced saw blades, plus two plank production. That's pretty good. A whole bunch of bricks and some simple tools. Those are useful for opening uh, things we can find out in the wild. And then goods sold. Sell goods worth at least 15 amber to traders or trade routes. We never saw those in the previous playthroughs yet. But we get um, a, a bunch of amber, which is money to sell with traders, to buy stuff. Uh, a bunch of oil, and a bunch of randomized villagers. So we've got a whole bunch of humans. We're going to go ahead with the humans resolve. Hopefully we can get that cleared pretty easily. Uh, metal veins. We just need 15 ore. We're going to get this eventually just from chopping trees, and that'll get us a uh, bonus to copper bar production. production. Goods sold and amber can be traded in for some simple tools, wildfire essence, and newcomers. And then a bunch of provisions and crops can be a bunch of other things. But I think I'm going to go ahead for the... Metal veins. Again, this is just going to automatically happen over time. A trading post and 10 amber. A bunch of biscuits, some parts, and simple tools. Some building materials. Uh, for reinf This is the same one we rejected a moment ago. The scavenger's camp and the stonecutter's camp and bricks for some more clay, some reeds, and some parts. And I think this will be really good because I feel like we will need the parts. And also, these are things I'm going to build anyways. So let's get that one. And um, while we're looking at it, what do those take? Those take the scavenger's camp and the stonecutter's camp. Let's just build those. We started with stone instead of clay. That's good. Uh, stone's a little bit better than clay in my experience. I like stone more. It lets you build the stone paths. And we also have roots up here, which can be uh, gathered for herbs. So let's go ahead and get that scavenger's camp. Oh, we've got five nodes of it. Wow. That is impressive. Okay. So we'll get those built next. We'll take a look at our uh, thing here. We did we did not choose one that gave us bonus planks. Um, but we do need bricks for one of them. So what I like to do right off the bat is I like to, and I did not show this, the recipes panel is a general um, thing that allows us to control our production limits globally instead of just at one building. So I like to say, 
at the very start. I don't want more than 10 fabric, 10 bricks, or 10 planks. Uh, and I actually like to put it at 20 planks. And the reason I put that now is so that I don't accidentally assign someone to a building. I don't want more than three crops or three building materials, but I do like packs of provisions because those can be traded with. Um, but I don't want to accidentally build a bunch of stuff that I don't need to build yet. Um, and so I like to put the limits in right away. So now when I look here, these will be at a set amount, and then I can turn these on and off to override the global limit. I'm going to put this to stone, because I'm going to need to get some people gathering stone to be able to build those bricks. Um, and I think the rest of these are fine. So, what else do I need to get my resolve up for my humans? I can't light treat them, tr like later treatment them for the plus five. I need to have um, more people, <laughs> obviously. But let's get a couple of um, a couple of shelters too. That'll get them a little bit higher. Um, currently, they are lacking a plus three bonus. Um, it'll be less than plus three because I won't have everyone housed, but I'll have quite a few people housed, so it'll be like good enough. Uh, I only have three builders right now, and they're all taking a break. That's fine. Let's speed it up a little tiny bit. That'll build the Stonecutter's Camp. I'll get one person assigned there just to start that stone rolling. Um, and I don't think I'm going to assign anyone there yet. Let's get these guys here and here. Ah, yes. The other thing I can do to increase... Remember, I need to have a whole bunch of people housed. And I need to have a certain amount of decoration. So within this radius, I need to have eight people housed and four decorations. These decorations just take wood. So what I like to do is just put a little row of benches behind my storage bin. And that'll keep those people happy. And then I will need one more shelter to get those. So let's just go ahead and place them now. And that'll get us, I think it was two resolve that that gave me last time. There we go. A little bit of housing. So... Let's come back here for a second. I think that right away, the brickyard is going to be a little more useful because I need the bricks to be built a little more efficiently because I do not I do not have a really plentiful supply of stone. So let's get the brickyard. Okay, the trapper's camp gets us meat, insects, and eggs. The herb garden is kind of like the small farm we saw in the first one, but makes roots and herbs instead of vegetables and grain. And the plantation makes berries and plant fiber. And plant fiber, I think, is very good because it is a basically a replenishable source of something that can build fabric. So I'm just going to build the plantation straight up. Uh, I get the lumber mill again. That's a good sign. The rain mill is flour for biscuits and stuff. And the brewery is the ale. All of these are quite good. In fact, this is going to complete the service uh, for the humans. And the flour is going to be also very useful. I don't remember what flour can be made from. Mushrooms, roots, and grain. Okay. So we'll have to have a think on that. This can be made from roots and grain and needs a storage container. The pickled goods are no good for humans yet. I don't know what my next uh, race is yet. So I do need to wait on that. We're going to want to get this brickyard up, and I'm going to put it right next to my storage facility so that I can get it. But we're going to need a bunch of planks to build this. I'm going to turn the crystallized dew off because I don't want to make it, and I'm going to turn the pottery off because I don't want to make it. The crystallized dew is spark dew plus some other stuff to make um, bars that can be used to make other stuff later. The plantation, I said, was for uh, crops, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, what is the other thing that's going on that I need to think about? The thing that's going on that I need to think about is getting these rain collectors up. I will need those relatively soon. So let's get one built up. How many people do I have spare? I have one person spare. Let's get you only building the planks so that we can build these two buildings. Go. We're going to have some shelter for the storm. We've got plenty of wood. Our food is not dropping too quickly yet. We are eating it, but it's not going crazy fast down because we only have 10 people. And they only need food every once in a while. I do have this blueprint outstanding. That's okay. 
Uh, where did I get that insect from? Is that from the stone? Okay, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. Probably mentioned it, but I didn't realize it. So, I have you guys to avoid opening glades, so we're just going to go ahead and do this. But we're not going to open that glade yet. I'm trying to build up this way um, to make some more room for everything. Do I... I'll have these decorations up in a moment. That'll be nice. I'm going to raise the priority on this one so that he doesn't um, empty this. Um, remember... If um, a node is depleted during drizzle, it spawns fertile soil. So I w if I could, I'd like to make all these into fertile soil um, so that I had the option to build a farm here if I needed to. Um, which, again, I do have a plantation to do that with. So how many planks do I have currently? I have none. I have four. Okay. So we've built our decorations. We just need one more housing worth of... Uh, Houses, shelters, excuse me. Still at times three, that's fine. The house is going up. We're going to get this bonus from our hub. Let's see what level we get to. I changed it to, to one time speed while I read this again. So it's plus two resolve. And the ancient heart's resistance to corruption is increased by 150. That's something that will come up later. There's this corruption mechanic where when you build things out of places, it slowly becomes more and more corrupt. And then there's thresholds of it uh, not allowing you to destroy the building, and then you not, but then you get uh, bonus uh, speed and bonus production. But while that's there at the storm, this slowly ticks up, and so you need to upgrade this, and then not let too many of these get infested with blight pot. But not hugely important right now. We're just going to speed through this first night. There we go. What have we got? Just the looming hostility. So we've got a decent amount of resolve, right? We've got minus eight resolve because we're at two hostility. Um, sorry. The looming darkness is a minus four thing, and then every hostility you have multiplies it, right? So the years make the hostility go up higher, and then that gets multiplied by the amount of looming darkness. So you get minus four for zero, and then minus... Uh, another 4 for uh, 1. So I'm at minus 10 total from the hostility of minus 2. And then this being a minus 8 modifier. Whoops. Wrong button. But we'll just speed through the night. And in the morning... <clears throat> I think we're going to poke through this dangerous glade. I don't know. I'm a little nervous to poke through it because I don't have... Oh, I do have quite a bit of copper ore. Where is that copper ore store at? It's funny. I'm not using that up, am I? Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, almost done this one. Which is kind of astonishing. Um, I will need one more house. And let's force the delivery here to, uh, to get those planks out of there. Is someone going to bring that out, or is this guy going to wait until he's done? Yeah, he's going to wait until he's done. Anyways. So I could turn this in. But that would reduce the Queen's Impatience. And the Queen's Impatience is currently reducing my hostility by 15. So that's not going to push it up over into level 2. So that's not a big deal. But do I need the rewards right now? Eh, not really. So I'm just going to wait. I can't even use the blueprint because I haven't decided on this one yet. I'm going to assign another human to this uh, Stonecutter's Camp in a minute once it becomes day to turn those into fertile soil. We're probably going to build over them anyways. Let's let's pause. Let's take a look at our migrants first. So we've got three beavers. Or two humans and one beaver. I'm going to get the three beavers. And I'm going to get one of my woodcutter's camps to be at double efficiency. So my wood is going to be a lot healthier looking very soon. Work safety guide. Every five villagers with the need for education fulfilled will increase global production speed by 25%. A set of specialized tools made to extract artifacts. Gain five artifacts for every two completed dangerous and forbidden glade events. Uh, those are citadel resources, so we're going to be taking that. That is going to rocket our uh, overworld uh, progress. So we have a couple of people unhoused. Uh, the humans are currently fairly happy. Our Hostility is up high enough that we're a little worried about that. 
But that's okay because we're building this uh, rain collector now. So that's good. So let's get that going. How much longer? We're going to get these guys in a minute. Uh, I would like my Queens and Patients to keep going up so that my hostility could get a little lowered, I think. The woodcutter's Camp has no suitable trees nearby, so let's put these guys right here. I don't have that archaeologist's hut yet. Yeah, I don't have that archaeologist's office. I don't like not having that and cutting into those. It makes me a little nervous. So we're actually just going to keep... Actually just going to keep down here and make some more room this way. Maybe cut into one of these uh, simple blades. Yeah. Okay, another house. Can't quite get that above 22 yet, right? That would only put it at 21. Need a little more happiness for that. Uh, I can get a human working there. I'm going to get one of my dwarves working here eventually, but for now I need it to be human. Um, actually, you know what? I could put a human there. That's fine. Let's put another human there. Let's put a human... Oh, oh it's still the scavengers can. Because we still need a builder, right? We're going to want a beaver at this. Let's put the speed up. We'll get a beaver there. The reason we're putting him there is he is at an engineering, and they like working at engineering places, and so he's getting plus five to his global resolve. And so, between the encampment effect and this comfortable status from working in the rain collector, they are getting a total of uh, plus five, and plus one as well from something else. Uh, no, sorry, not plus one, that's the plus four combined. So yeah, um, just having him in there is making the beavers quite a bit happier. So the humans do not need a whole lot to get happier. Um, any of these foods will do it, and I can push them up over the limit. Or I could just drop the hostility down by lowering, uh, by removing a person. So let's do that, and then let's favor them for a little bit. And that'll push them up to the 22, and we can get this people's resolve done as well. Oh, and I wanted to you to build bricks out of stone. Yes, perfect. And I don't want to build bricks here anymore at all, under any circumstances, so we're just going to keep that off. And we're going to turn the fabric on and get some fabric going as well. There we go. So we just need the resolve high enough for a couple seconds. I do need food pretty badly, so once these guys are done with the stone, we're going to change them over to these uh, to these roots. Uh, we've got another order almost done. There we go. Got one fertile soil. Not really going to matter too much. Unless they're clumped up like this, it's not really that useful to put a farm next to, like, two things, right? That's kind of junk. There we go. So the human's resolve is done. We can stop favoring them. Um, we do need to be pretty careful about what we turn in and when. So what does this do? This gives us more humans, a bunch of grain, and a bunch of parts. So there's one fertile soil. Is this one almost done? I think I'll turn that in for the people. We'll put it up over again, but that's okay. I'm not going to turn this one in yet. And we do need to take a look at how much spark do we're creating here. I think I've created none, or I've created a full package. All right, I've created four spark do so far. Oh, it can only hold two, so he has to bring that back every time he's done. I forgot about that. Uh, but I've got my five, and I need five multiplied by the amount of years. So I need um, I'm gonna need ten spark do before the storm, or I'm gonna have to lower the hostility to two. And keep it below two. Or, sorry, lower it below two and keep it below two for the entire duration of the storm. One or the other. Uh, and you can do that pretty easily. Uh, wow, that made a ton of fertile soil. That was not what I was expecting. Why did that make so much fertile soil? Okay, well, I can take them out now. That's nice. Uh, and I can just move this off to the side because there's nothing for them to do. Wow, that made an astonishing amount of fertile soil. I mean, I could build a plantation around that. It's it's still fairly small, but Jesus, I, that's not what I was expecting to happen. Um, I think I'm going to move this woodcutter's camp over here, just to get this cut a bit more evenly. Do I have anyone unhoused currently? No. Everyone's housed. That's good. We're into drizzle. Sorry, clearance. Let's move the speed up a little bit. These guys are working on these roots. Let's prioritize this one. Uh, actually, let's deprioritize that. I need more food. I desperately need food. 
So you guys are just going to have to get that, and I'm going to need to cut into more places. Uh, and I might even have to do this found this uh, this plantation as much as I don't want to. Uh, this might be a necessity. Get some berries going now. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have some people starving soon. Starving doesn't make you like immediately lose, but it certainly doesn't help you win uh, right away. So let's uh, turn off the plant fiber and just keep the berries. The berries will be feeding us for a while until we get more on the go. Um, before the storm starts, I will desperately need... Let's cut some more along here. Avo keep avoid opening glades. We're going to open this shortly. Um, I need this archaeologist's building, though. I think. All right, so we've got our ten bricks. So there's that that we can turn in. What's that going to give us? Some clay. It's not going to be very useful. Uh, we're down below one because the queen's impatience is high enough, so that's nice. We do need to think about what we're going to be doing here. Now, what was this again? Right, roots and mushrooms. The ale is grain and roots. Not super good. And this is just a very efficient way to make planks. And so we have beavers, and so if we ever get the beaver houses, we're going to need the lumber mill to get that a bit better. Uh, the herb garden gets us fruits and herbs. The trapper's camp gets us meat, insects, and eggs. And the forager's camp gets us vegetables, grain, and insects. So we're going to have to open these up to know what we want. Um, we're going to hold off opening that until next year, though, because we don't want this to be any higher, uh, pushing us over into the hailstorm, the overheating. So we'll just go ahead and do one more storm at this. We'll cut into both of those for a couple of extra resources. We're getting dangerously low on food here. That's okay. We'll, we'll fix that a little bit next year. Let's put this one at a higher priority, and then this one at a higher priority. Maybe, maybe we can adjust how we're doing these. We'll move that right there so that they don't have to move so far to return. We're going to be getting a little bit of hungriness going on. Um, that'll be an extra... Yeah, see, there's a... The need for food has been, uh, hasn't been has been met by someone, so we're going to be a little hungry. There's that corruption going up from, uh, from my workstation, probably. Yeah, this is the one... Oh, no, it's not the workstation. Where is it? Ah, yes, it's the rain collector. He's always getting uh, completely out of control with that. Uh, and to deal with that, you need to... Um, let's build a one right there. I'll, I'll pause now that it's a new year. To deal with that, you need to build this blight post, which uh, basically makes a bunch of uh, firefighters that actually go around and set things on fire for you. Uh, it looks like I'm getting lizards as well as my third species, but I'm going to take the humans and uh, beavers now to get a, a big influx of vegetables just to have some food. Uh, and now, I don't mind if they prioritize this one. Let's lower the priority there. In there, and then let's raise it on that one to one. So let's go uh, four, uh, three, two, and one. And that way they'll do them in that order. Uh, and we're going to put this right here, and we're going to say avo stop avoid opening glades. And we're going to put this one right here, and we're going to say stop avoid opening glades. And just mark all that for removal. So that'll get that removed. Um... And we'll see what we can get. Some fossils contain valuable surprises. Gain two amber for every 20 sea marrow produced. Um, the artifact, an artifact infused with the power of the holy flame. Hostility from woodcutters is decreased by 12. Let's pick that. Our hostility just dropped drastically from the amount of woodcutters we have. Let's get another one on there. We're at two anyways, so it doesn't matter too much. Let's choose some new orders. Uh, 50 roots to get a bunch of beavers, planks, and stuff. Biscuits and human houses to get... Uh, a permanent bonus to humans resolve, a bunch of humans and a bunch of mushrooms. And then a bunch of luxury goods for a bonus to flower production, some amber, and a new group of villagers. Let's get the roots. That's going to be a bummer to lose a bunch of food for that, but I don't see the other ones happening anytime soon. A bunch of ancient tablets for uh, a bunch of bonus production to all the packs of goods. Some amber and some villagers. Luxury goods, trade goods, and amber for... Uh, amber for every pack of trade goods are produced. Traders pr uh, come quicker and a bunch of parts. Or the pack of... Cr ten packs of crops 
for humans, human clan support, and parts. This is going to be very good. Uh, that is very, very good. Okay. That one's going to be important. Uh, we are going to need the makeshift uh, posts, because that is how I will be making crops, packs of crops. And can I do berries there? No, I cannot. That's okay. I can do grain. Uh, and grain isn't going to be making us food anytime soon. And so I need 10 of those. Let's set that limit to 10 here, temporarily. Uh, and we don't want to make any packs of provisions, and we don't want to make any building materials right now. Not yet. Uh, ooh, copper ore can be made into backs building materials. I did not know that. That is very good. So am I down any rain? No, I've still got a ton of spark dew. What have I got here? Uh, some swamp wheat fields, some copper vein, oh, a copper vein, a storm bird nest, and fertile soil. So I've got wheat and eggs. So are any of these wheat and eggs? This is just wheat. This is eggs. I can already get eggs through this, I believe, so that's not a big deal. I'll wait to see what that one is, but I can get another farm up over here. And I'm going to want to do that. Sea marrow and stone. And so now I have another spot for my stonecutter's camp to work, and it can get a whole bunch of more stone for me. Let's get a little road going on over here. There we go. We're going to want to get a road to over here as well. I'm going to do it right there, and then on the other side of it like that. And I'm going to want to clear some more wood around here to clear up some more spots around that um, farm. Actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to remove a lot of this marking for chopping. I'm going to move this woodcutter's camp in here. And I'm going to mark this spot here to get a little more of that fertile soil revealed. That'll be really good to have. And I'll do, just do along there as well so I get a bit more of that. So that's really good. Okay. Continue. We'll get some humans working there. Put it on 1.5 times speed. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I could use a beaver at the lumber mill. And this guy, I no longer want you to make planks. Let's return the wood. We're only making fabric here. And now that my food is going to be fixed, I need to get this other one up nice and quick, though. So you know what I'm going to need to do? I'm going to need to set up this plantation before I'm ready for it and set up these fields now as well. Because I'm going to need that pretty badly. I guess these guys are getting all this, these, uh, these roots, so that's nice. And these will turn into uh, to fields as well. So that, that, that's pretty good. Um, this guy has nothing to make right now, so I'm actually going to take him out. Uh, this guy's been sitting on bricks for a while, though. I'm, uh, I'm going to take him out. Um, let's get the lumber mill going. We're going to get some more planks there. Uh, I have some unhoused people, so let's go ahead and get some more of these built. I've got a bunch. I've got three builders now. Uh, could I use more builders? Yeah, I think I could use more builders at the moment. I don't need that guy doing that. And I've got more than enough rain collected for now. Let's take you out of there. There we go. We want those guys assigned to this plantation so we can get what we can get planted now. Uh, we do need plant fiber, but we really need the berries. So let's get that going. These berries are both sown and plowed, I think. Am I wrong? Uh, the sea marrow is used here. Now, I never explained sacrificing. You can burn things to reduce hostility uh, for wood, and then hostility for coal, and then a bunch of work speed increase with the bone marrow, and then production increase uh, with the oil. Uh, and then you can also burn all of those for time in your hearth. So... This will be basically saved for later, but it is very efficiently gained, and we're going to get a lot of it. So there's some more fertile soil. Wow, he's, I did not know that you got that much out of it. That is crazy. So we're going to have a whole bunch of little plantations, which is kind of a bummer, because, like, they only have a certain radius around them that they actually work in. We're low on food again. We're going to keep being low on food for a while, I think. That's okay. That's all right. 
once these are, are, are harvested, we're going to be fine. Uh, if I could get that one done, that'd be really nice. And then I can turn these guys off for the season once the berries are getting are getting made. There we go. There's some more foregrill soil. There's some under that now. And they're getting this one going. Cool. All right. There we go. And there's the, there's the berries, and they're going to actually get me those berries. Uh, this These have been done for quite some time. I, I'm hesitant to do them because they're lowering my hostility. Um... Neither of these, I mean, I guess the foragers camp would get us a bunch of grain right now, but like, I'd like to see some insects or something else that I could harvest with it before I commit to that. I don't want to choose something and then regret, um, like, like say I uncover uh, a big pile of meat there, I'm going to be sad that I took the foragers camp instead of the trappers camp, so I'm kind of holding off on it for now. Um, and that's fine. I want to make sure that I take some people off of woodcutting before uh, this starts, so I don't have to use a bunch of my spark dew. I want to save that up for putting it in when I can no longer remove enough people. I do have a good stockpile of wood kept right now, so it's not a big deal if I have to do that. Um, the berries... I'm a little surprised. There we go. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting a bunch of berries that should be more than enough for the season. Um, I do not want them to finish this, so I'm going to lower that one's priority to zero and raise this one's priority to two. And hopefully they stop harvesting from that one and start harvesting this one, and then I'll have another field here. Uh, what's going on? The makeshift post. Have you made all the crops? You did. You made all of the crops. So I can get a bunch of extra humans, a bunch of resolve for them, and a bunch of parts. Um, do I have a bunch of buildings that are not housed? Yes. Currently I have a bunch of buildings that are not being used, shelters that are not uh, being used. Adding villagers will also add to my hostility, so I'm going to take this uh, at the end of the storm. I'm going to add these guys and get a bunch of bonus resolve for my humans. I'm going to take you out of there. go. I mostly want the beavers working in the sawmills in the woodcutters camps because you get more efficient gains out of it. Uh, let's put you right there to try and help prioritize those ones. In fact, where your arrow is pointing also kind of gives them like a weird priority a little bit. Let's get some more paths built this way. Oh, we're going to pause. We're going to remove some people from the woodcutters camps so that we're go down below too, so we no longer have to pay that uh, spark do for the storm. There we go. How is my stone doing? Let's let's raise the priority on this one. Again, we're trying to get this fertile soil where we can. We're going to lower the priority on each of those. In fact, we're even going to just turn the sea arrow off completely. Are they going to finish that? I'm going to take one of you off. Do we have enough food? Yeah, I've got tons of berries. We're going to turn the plant fiber back on over here because I do need plant fiber for fabric eventually. Uh, I have some in reserve. Uh, oh, and I got new orders. I didn't notice that. Um, fulfill the need for clothing for 14 villagers. That's going to be really good because uh, both dwarves uh, both dwarves and humans need clothing. Uh, we've also got this one over here. Humans resolve above 30 and have at least 10 humans. Uh, that'll give us a bunch of flour and parts. Um, I think that this one's a little bit... This one's gonna happen eventually. Select the Keep Goods event as a reward at a Glade event. You have not seen what that is yet, but I don't think I'll be doing that. Uh, religion a bunch of times. Religion's probably... Probably what I need to... I need, I'm gonna need this Global Resolve, I, I imagine. Uh, I don't think that plan can... Production is going to be super helpful. Oh, but some simple tools. Simple tools are an easy way to get some uh, free amber. Um, but I'm going to need to start opening up some stuff. And if I start opening up some stuff, I'm going to need this archaeologist's office, as I understand it. So. Let's continue the storm here. In fact, let's take him off completely. Ok, 
go. Now, what does the archaeologist object uh, office do right now? There's upgrades that you can choose. And you need amber, and then uh, planks, or other stuff. Scrolls, oil, something else. The courage and hard work of the town scouts mobilizes others' workers to be more productive. All workers get a 10% higher chance of doubling their production for every dangerous glade event that is being worked on. Or reveals the location of the closest archaeological discovery. Well, I'll need money for that. Uh, and if I want money, then I should buy myself a trading post. So that I can get rid of some things that I don't need, like um, copper bars and copper ore. And maybe sea marrow that is expensive. And get myself some stuff. How much stone do I have? That's a good question. How many paths could I build? No, I'm going to need that for bricks, I imagine. I'm going to get this guy ready to uh, trade with me once the storm is over. Alright, let's go. Let's change the speed back down. Let's get our people first. I'm going to take more humans. Um, yeah, I'm going to take more humans. And finally, some lizard people. Um, we're going to go ahead and fulfill this one to get more humans again. We're going to need a couple more shelters. Like that. There we go. And let's take a look and see what's for trades. So we get the brewery, we get the small farm. You need a lot of amber to get those things, though. And these guys can sell you amber, uh, provided you have the stuff they want. But they sell it at a crappy rate. So I could sell them a whole bunch of bone marrow for about 12, 13 amber. I could sell them all of my bone marrow, sea marrow, for 13 amber. But it's not a great deal on my end here. That's 3.25. five. Okay. So it's not it's not a great deal for me. I don't have access to trade routes. Trade routes are another way to get uh, amber ahead of time. Um, okay, so I need to cut into something now. Uh, if I don't cut into something now, I'm not going to know what I need. So let's just cut into here. Let's get some humans reassigned. Let's get this beaver assigned to that. That's the plantation. That's the wrong one. There. Uh, these lizard folk. Let's put the... Let's put the lizard in the hearth. And then let's go... Uh, humans there. Humans there. Humans there and there. Uh, I don't think I need these... Cra uh, uh, I don't think I need any of these anymore, actually. Let's take those guys out. I think that that's fine for now. Uh, we want this plantation to get as many of these as we can, so we're going to do that, and we're even going to build another farm field there. Um, how are our berries doing? Yeah, we got a lot from that last harvest. I think I am going to keep this one as berries only. Yeah, I think that's fine. And we do have another thing here. Calming the forest. Every two newly completed dangerous and forbidden glade events lowers hostility by 50. Um, hostility is reduced 15 point, points every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. I think I'm going to go with Calming the Forest because we're about to start exploring the glades. So let's take a look and see what we get from that. Cut our way through, folks. What have we got? We've got... Okay. First, let's look at what we got unlocked. We unlocked uh, five stone deposits. That's a lot. I've got a swamp wheat field, which is right here, which is worth a ton of grain. Wow, that is insane. Uh, a bunch of reed fields. These are worth reeds and roots and clay. That's really good. Uh, Twelve fertile soil with what looks like some hidden beneath the trees, I would say. Yeah, uh, so 14. Probably, probably 14 fertile soil. Uh, two abandoned caches, which you can open up with the simple tools and get either resources or a bunch of amber and, and some free reputation. But you need these simple tools or these infused tools to do that. And then finally, the Fishmen's Cave. We have 10 minutes to deal with the threat. Um, spawns three Fishmen Totems and an Impatient Point. 
and we can turn in either the sea marrow, coal, oil, or resin. And while we're working it, trying to enter the fisherman's cave triggers hidden traps. A fisherman's totem spawns every 60 seconds and is only active when the corresponding glade event is being worked on. So, I need to spend two people to deal with this. I need to use up a bunch of my sea marrow to do it. And I need to take either a whole bunch of food or a free reputation and a whole bunch of amber, and I'm going to do that. So that's going to happen, but I'm also going to need to deal with these fishmen totems, and I do not remember what those do, and I probably need something else to deal with them separately. Not sure what it is, so let's start back up and see. Do I only have five beavermen? I do. Okay. Uh, let's also build a road up into here so that we can get there a bit quicker. What's the way through? Ah, okay, we chopped this one, which is currently blocked by that. Okay. Uh, do I have anything I can finish? I just have this. That's fine. I didn't really find anything new, but I did get to double down on this wheat field thing going on, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and take this forager's camp. And now I get the smokehouse, the kiln, and the provisioner. I'd love to get this jerky built. That seems really strong. Jerky will get my humans resolve up quite a lot, and my uh, lizard folks resolve up. So we'll build that a bit later. The forager's camp can go right here for now, and we will just build it, because it's not a huge... It's just uh, parts, uh, wood and parts, and then when you deconstruct it, you can get those back fully, I believe. Um... Well, maybe not. Oh, no, it's not built. But most of these you just get a full refund on um, when it comes to the uh, the camps. So that's fine. Are you guys working on this yet? No, they haven't brought the stuff over yet. So let's get a couple more paths set up. Let's turn the speed up a little bit. We're going to get rid of these... Uh... Let's change all my priorities here get this one done, let's get this one removed, and let's get this one done, and let's add the sea marrow back on so I can actually harvest it. Uh, I do have a guy making more spark dew because my hostility is very high now, and so I'm going to need that. And let's just open this up so that we've got a ton of room to play with. Oh, I never did my trading. Right. So... Uh, was there anything I actually could trade for? I mean, I could get rid of all this copper ore and, and get something. Um, I could get a bunch of food. I could see how many simple tools I can get out of that. Not much. That's for sure. I think that means that we're getting a bit of amber and calling it a day. Uh, we can also get a little bit of something else. A little bit of something else. Let's get a little bit of roots. There. That'll be fine. Um, we can make planks pretty efficiently as well. Maybe we'll do that and we'll get a little bit more roots. Yeah, okay. Because we do need roots for one of our, um, one of our quests there. I wonder, am I able to turn off root consumption? No, I don't have that upgrade yet. That's fine. So these guys are going to start working this in a moment. The fishman totem appeared. The Forced hostility is temporarily increased by 60 points, so I need a guy to come work this. He's going to get rid of that in a minute and 20. But the uh, hostility is really high while, while this is happening. So the fishmen are kind of the bad guys of this world. But once this is gone, we're going to get a free reputation point, and that's going to be very useful. Um, so let's turn uh, not opening glades back on. And let's just open up a whole bunch of space along here. We're going to want that. We're going to want all that opened up eventually. Oh, we need another one of these dealt with. Wow, these are popping up real fast. Wow, hostility is super high. Holy shit. And there's three minutes left to do this. Wow. That is brutal. You need a lot of people to do that. I need some amp, right? I need amber to upgrade that, don't I? Okay. That's fine. Let's get the two fishman totems being dealt with. Do we have enough people to deal with the rest of it? God. 
scavengers camp has no nearby deposits, but look at all this fertile soil that just built up. Like, that's a whole other farm. There's a whole other farm over there, too. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, so this is, uh, okay, so this can still get me eggs. So we'll, we'll just pick the eggs up from there as well. That's fine. What are these? These are copper veins. Ooh. Ooh. I don't have any way to get those yet. You get those via a mine, which I have not unlocked. I need a blueprint for that by the looks of it. But that's okay. Wow, look at that. Huge. Jesus Christ. All right, we're going to get another plantation up in here, I think. Is there a spot I can get this? Wow, right there gets all of it. That is really nice. Man, we probably don't need food anymore once we have three of those up. That is insane. Another fish totem. Holy shit. Investigate there. Oh, right. You get rid of one every two minutes, though. So while one is up, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, we're going to remove the guys from the brickyard. Is the lumber mill still going full bore on planks? Yes, it is. I'm going to actually... We're going to go ahead and reevaluate some of our uh, production stuff. So, straight up, we've got food, jerky. We don't even have the smokehouse yet, but let's place it. Because uh, the smokehouse is just going to be really important for us. So let's... um, Let's build that right, like, here. That's a good spot for it. Um, so that's going to be important to have. We'll go back to this. So we're going to want meat... Uh, insects, excuse me, and wood. Yeah, insects and wood, and we're only going to want, like, 50 of that ever at a time. We'll change it uh, to the global, actually, like that. So that's food. Building materials. We're going to go ahead and put this to uh, 50, and we're going to put each of these to 20. Um, actually, we're going to put this one to 25, and this one to 20. We're making these really inefficiently for now, but these ones are a bit more efficient. Consumables, we don't really like how the way that we make either of these right now, so we're going to just turn both of those off. Crafting resources, again, we don't really like the way that we're making these. Uh, I'm going to turn it off the smokehouse because this is less efficient than this one anyways. Trade goods, all of these are being made inefficiently except for here at the lumber. Oh, ouch, I've been using all those up because I didn't remember to turn that off. And then fuel, that's fine. We are going to need a blight office soon. But I don't know when I'm going to build that. I don't want to build it quite yet. There we go. Let's get a couple of things planted. We'll get some berries. That'll be nice. Yeah, we didn't get any planted. That's all right. But we've got some stuff that we can harvest. That's pretty good. Uh, let's get some, some building fabric. Another fishman totem. Needs to get worked. And I think that's the last one before this is done. Yeah, I think that's the last one before this is done. Maybe there'll be one more right at the very end. But uh, feeling pretty good about that now. There's that. I'm going to want to have this guy working here, because that's going to raise his happiness significantly. We've only got two guys, and they're both working in places they like to work. But he has nothing to make there at the moment, because I have no meat and no insects. I could change the... I could make some incense... cannot make pottery. That's okay. For right now, he's just getting a plus five bonus to his resolve. He's getting a plus six bonus to his resolve. Wow, these guys are really happy from that. That's crazy. Okay. When these are gone, our hostility is going to feel a bit more manageable. We're going to get a new blueprint to work with. The queen's impatience is going to raise a little bit. I think it's going to go up a new echelon before I'm done here. The forager's camp doesn't have anyone in it. No... Another fishman's totem. Yikes. You're going to want to investigate that one. There we go. Okay, so that's done, and I've got 20 amber. Very good. Are these all done? Yeah, that one's gone. That one's gone. That one's going to be gone in a second. Very good. The stonecutter's camp has no more resources. That's okay. We've got a stupid amount of uh, stone up here. And I don't care about the fertile ground spawning anymore. I've got more than enough uh, stuff. The cookhouse, the carpenter, and the brewery. There's the ale production we could get. That's for both the um, humans and the beavers. But skewers and biscuits and... No, I think the brewery is going to be the big pick here. We're going to be going for like the same victory that we had in the last one. 
Uh, but I'm going to need to build this blight post now. Uh, this is going to be essential. We're going to lose if we don't get it. Let's get our new order. A bunch of goods sold. Some spark dew, lizard resolve, pack of provisions, and a bunch of goods sold. Yikes. That is not very good. Those are bad options. I'm not really getting any of these done, I don't think. I'll need to sell a lot of stuff to get these. Same with this one. We're going to do with lizards. See if we can get the lizards up high. The lizards are actually surprisingly easy to please. Um, but we're going to need a lot more resolve pretty soon. How are we doing on food? we got tons of food. Fuel's going down. A lot of wood being used. That's okay. There's the brewery. There's the brewery. Uh, pickled goods. Ooh, we can make pickled goods. Ooh. Nah, we can't. We don't have anything to make it with. That is a bummer. Roots. And nothing to make it with as well. We're going to have a ton of grain, though. Once these, uh... Once these foragers camp get going, we're going to have a stupid amount of grain. Uh, these guys are going to be done with those eggs soon. Are you guys done with those eggs yet? Yeah, you're done with the eggs. So we're just going to move this all the way up here and ignore it for a little while. Um, I'm going to do a couple of changes really quickly. I'm just going to put this to medium because I think that my computer's chugging a little bit. And I'm going to lower the UI size slightly. There. Does that help at all? Not a little bit. Not intensely. So we've got the brewery. Um, hu uh, humans like working there with the brewing. But um, there's nothing to do with it, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to need to cut into some more uh, glades pretty soon to get more uh, options. But we're about to start a fairly high um, hostility, which has all of these active. And so people are going to be eating twice as much. We're going to be using up twice as much fuel. Um, I think we're going to see if we can get low enough with the woodcutter's camp removed. But no, we're not going to get low enough. Um, so we're going to have to do deal with the, um, uh, the spark dew. So I'm going to put a couple beavers back on the spark dew just to get their... Um... Oh, they don't make it faster. That's just more resolve. Yeah, okay. Let's keep the humans on. Uh, and then let's just keep, like, a couple of people cutting wood to keep it below three. And then let's get a couple people, um, making Beaver's Resolve and Lizard's Resolve is a little low. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna build, like, five purging fires and we're gonna stop. The purging fires are how you remove those fuels, those cysts. So this is like producing, uh, sorry, the people working here work faster. We're not going to burn that because we're not in danger of, 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 of going over. Uh, but we do have a lot of buildings that I am going to burn it from. We're going to burn it from the lumber mill. We're going to burn it from the crude workstation. We're not going to burn it from here. Um, because I would like to have uh, this spark do being produced very heavily. Uh, you see we lost somewhere only at 32 now because of this uh, overheating. I do not want that penalty, so we're not, not accepting that penalty. We're going to need to cut through to some other glades, though, because I'm going to need to see some other stuff. I need more of those events for me to clear um, so that I can get more resolve. So we're going to put some cutters camps over here. cut through here, and we're going to uh, wait until the day, excuse me, wait until the, uh, not the day, that's not what I need to say. Oh, there we go. Get rid of some of the blight. This is my uh, blight fighter. We're about to lose a beaver, but it's about to also be the end of the storm. There we go. We're no longer losing that beaver. Let's get some more people. A bit of pottery. A bunch more humans. Let's go some more, um... Some more lizards and, and beavers. 
uh, meat specialization. We're going to take that just in case we get meat, because we're going to need it for this, um, this smokehouse, right? I don't know where we got meat from, but whatever. Uh, and now we're going to take uh, all of our beavers back onto here, if we can. And we're going to tell them to stop, avoid opening glades. Uh, we do have a couple of um, lizards to change the blight post out so we can get their resolve up a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to put some humans back into the brickyard. And are we good to get going? The answer is yes. How much stone do I have? I have... 86 stone. I think that I can afford to pave some roads. I'm going to pave those roads right there to help us speed up a little bit around, just right around our hearth. Speed up the game a little bit. Go up to times three. Try and cut into here nice and quickly. Let's get a couple of extra pads up this way and then across. We'll just do it across like that. There we go. Ah, oh, we get another fishman. Yikes. Oh, but we also got the cooperage. So sometimes you find these, which are like unused buildings, and you can either rebuild them or just take raw materials from them. But the cooperage builds barrels, training gear, and cosmetics, and we need barrels. So we're going to be taking that. But first, we need to clear this. Um, and we're going to need... Um, we're going to need these bricks, and we're going to need to turn in this one. Nope, I'm going to need copper ore, which I should not have sold, apparently. But I need a bunch of coal to complete this. So what is a different way that I can complete this? Yikes. That's not good. Okay. So I need to be chopping wood like crazy and get a bunch of copper ore from it. That's unfortunate. Um, so that means I need to build another woodcutter's camp. I'll move this plantation, like, right here. And get, like, two more farm fields in it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Whatever. Uh, okay. Um, that is a bummer. Because this is a long time to clear. It's a five-minute clear, and I don't think I'm going to have... I don't have a way to make coal at the moment. So I really just need to get a bunch of copper ore. I could call this guy immediately for a little bit of... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call him and see if he's got something I can buy that I can do this with. So resin, oil, coal, sea marrow, simple tools, or infused tools. Those are the things that I'm going to need. Um, and I might need to choose this berry production and clay and insects. Uh, because if I do that twice, I get a, a, a queen's reputation anyways, and so, like, this doesn't... It's not as it's not as important. Um, but I am going to try and upgrade this right now. Archaeologists have alerted to decipher ancient tablets, so you can now use that knowledge to appease the angry forest. Yet minus 15 hostility for every ancient tablet in your settlement's warehouse. Or the mid-range scanner reveals the location of the second closest archaeological discovery. Hmm. Okay. Interesting building. I've never, I've never really used that one before. So, um, I'm gonna cut it here. I've just hit the hour mark. We're gonna advance this really quickly on the next one, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Ciao.